Have you ever wondered why you need to raise your hand to ask your teacher for permission to ask a question? Hopefully the question does not contradict their teachings because then you'll be sent to the principal's office and you will be put in detention. Sounds very much like prison. Many times you want to use the restroom and they say, hey, you know what? Eh, maybe I'll let you use the bathroom. And hopefully, fingers crossed, you're allowed to use the bathroom. But before you use the bathroom, you're given a hall pass. This hall pass gives you the allowance to walk down the corridors of your school, surrounded by concrete walls and fluorescent lights. Hopefully, you have your hall pass when the hall monitor stops you lest you break the rules. All of this is conditioning designed to keep you a slave, designed to keep you subjugated and controlled. You may think they're small nuances, but if you think the world operates by chance and that things just happen, then you really don't understand how the game is played. When the bell goes off at recess, it very much resembles an assembly line. When the bell goes off, it's break time. But it does not only resemble the factories, it also resembles the prison industrial complex. When the bell goes off, well, that's when the inmates have access to the yard to enjoy some of the rays of the sun and hopefully some grass. All of these things are by design. When you're in primary school and middle school and high school, you are conditioned to transition these behaviors and these thoughts and these operating systems to university where you do not question authority. You do not question the person in charge. You're then led to the financial office to receive financial aid. But is it really aid? We understand that there is no such thing as a free lunch. So when you're pulling out these loans, subsidized and unsubsidized loan, look them up, you'll realize that in fact, you are becoming a slave. Andrew Jackson, who's on the $20 bill, famously said, when you are in debt, you become a slave. So what best time to make somebody a slave when they have no understanding of the financial system, when they have not been educated as to how the world works, and they end up in a situation where all they do is nurture their ideas from a source of authority that has been fabricated out of thin air. The Bible also says the borrower is the servant of the lender. And the people that run the financial system of the world understand that once you go from primary school to middle school to high school, you then become an autonomous individual. And the only way to keep you a slave is to keep you in debt. So this higher education for most people is in fact another level of the matrix, another level to subjugate and control every aspect of your life.